Mohamed Shaban, Charles Griffin, and Andrea Presti. These three, on paper, this will be your top three at this weekend's Cali Pro. The excitement, ladies and gentlemen, everybody in between. This is so exciting. Not too many times where there's a show, a pro show, where there's, you know, quite a few dudes that could win this one. But I think on paper, these three are the most popular. So I thought I would have a comparison. Keep in mind, this is what you guys, I think as a whole, think will be the top three. I, of course, have several other, or a couple, at least two other gentlemen. But anyway, in the front double, I would wager to say that... Mohamed Shaban and Andrea Presti would be in trouble. I think Charles Griffin is showing that he has that vacuum pose. He has the superior wheels as far as good size and separation. Of course, Shaban's wheels are huge. Are they too big? They don't have the separation of even Presti. But still, but still, I think it would be a battle for a second place. Between Presti and Shaban, with maybe Presti squeaking through because of the V taper, the midsection, maybe not the best uh, pose for Shaban. Go to the next one here, front lat spread. And for those of you who have Charles Griffin picked as the winner, it's looking good after the first two shots. He is bullying these other two dudes, I would wager to say. And it again appears to be a battle for second place between Andrea Presti and Shaban. Now keep in mind, guys, these are their last performances, their last versions. So there's no guarantee that this is what you're going to see. I think I like Shaban. I think he's a, a little bit more filled out in the front lat spread. Maybe not the best shot for Presti. Turn to the side here and... To let the cat out of the bag, if you've never seen my prediction video, I did pick Presti as the winner. Now, certain aspects about this, structurally speaking, he stands up tall, shows off the pecs, he looks good, nice hanging hamstring, but Presti, in my firm opinion, and I'm, I'm being unbiased here, because I, obviously I have him winning, so I'm going to you know sugarcoat everything that looks good, but I kind of have him last. Look at the arms, look at the arms. Griffin's arms are unbelievable. Actually, it is that bicep, tricep, delt separation that might actually get him an edge over Shaban. Because in the side chest, Shaban is thick, thick, all the way thick. Go to the next side shot, and you can see Shaban making up for those first couple of weak shots. He is a demon, beast demon from the side. If you weren't giving him the, the side chest, surely. Surely, you're giving him the side tricep. I think it's a battle between the arm development of Griffin and... Uh, oh, my goodness. Presti takes an easy third. Presti takes an easy third. I must be uh, hoping for a miracle. And I can all be honestly understand what you guys were thinking by calling me berserk. Like Shea Ban in this one. I like the torso heap. Turn around. This is still make or break time. Now, this is an interesting situation. I like the V-taper, the structure of Presti. Awesome. I like the, the back development, the muscularity, the separation of Griffin. And I like the condition, the, the vascularity, the muscularity, the condition glutes of Mohamed Shaban. So everybody kind of here has an argument for a victory. <sighs> might give it to Griffin. Now, yeah, he has the softest glutes, but, but, and this is a huge but, he has the best hamstrings. Look at that, and that means just as much as conditioning as the glutes, right? Anyway, this rear lat, difficult. I think I might throw Presti in last. Go to the rear double. Wow. This is tipsy-turby. Between Shaban and Andrea Presti. Presti, maybe not the best for the rear lat, but a very impressive shot in the rear double. And as far as Shaban is concerned, I liked his rear lat, but his rear double goes all to pieces. I fall to me. Anyway, anyway. Presti, he's awesome. 
maybe even beating Griffin as far as the back development is concerned. No fooling. Look at that V taper. That's incredible. Griffin's awesome too. Glutes, hamstrings. I mean, both guys are conditioned. And shape and kind of out of the question, out of the conversation here, just because of the lat insertion. But still, guys, I mean, it's a good matchup. It's a good matchup. Here's the absent thigh. And I honestly think this, on paper, this is the most realistic top three. I got Griffin for an easy win. Kind of phoning it in here for Shea Ban. Not a, not a good pitcher, though, to be honest with you, pie pants. And is Andrea Presti phoning it in? I don't know. They're all kind of going side. And if you do not like then this one, like see right now when you pose, you hide away. And then the big guy comes right up with his arm. And when if Louis doesn't have then this one, this is a vacuum. If Louis goes and poses this one, then Arnold has then this one. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's pumping iron. It's pumping iron, guys. Wow. Another victory for Griffin. I think, you know, here's the most muscular. We don't even need to calculate. I think you obviously know who I have the winner using these three versions. But I don't like to do that. I think Shea Ben's winning the most muscular. What do you guys think? Size, vascularities, proper Louis Marco. He was one of the first, you know, just regular dudes making these types of uh, content. But anyway, anyway, Griffin, maybe the worst structure. Maybe the worst structure, but the best muscle bellies, the, the most amount of muscle in those arms, inch for inch, and the best set of wheels as far as the balance, size, uh, muscle separation, but when I did say balance, I kind of went, uh, because I looked at the calves. And as far as balance of the size of the upper and lower legs, I think Presty might have it. And obviously, Shaban calves are being oversized, and his calves might even be the biggest, but they're overshadowed by those massive big Rammy quads. Good little matchup, but Griffin, obviously the clear winner. And in second, I actually have... Mohammed Shaban and yeah, Presti in third. So where do I get off putting Presti uh, the winner? Well, prediction videos are not just what you go off of by, you know, their last performances. You have to consider things. Can can Griffin nail his conditioning? I think he really nailed it good at the Indy. To do that twice, it's going to take a lot of doing. Can Griffin done do it? Sure he can. Sure he can. Will he? Well, we will have to wait and see. Anticipation, anticipation really makes this Cali Pro much more exciting. Not having a big, huge name in to come win the show easy. This is actually much more exciting. And there's definitely a lot of other guys besides these three dudes. But, like I said, on paper, and probably in your guys' minds, this will be your first call out, your top three 2022 Cali Pro. Got to get the show, guys. Got to watch it. Support your support your sport. Support bodybuilding. And if you don't, well, I'll give you the I'll give you the up to date the uh, up to date reports on what's going on and who wins, of course. Have a good day.